here we are. It's another Saturday and we've made it to rugby. Hello, Holly. Hello. She pays no attention to anything I do, does she? So, when I say we've made it to rugby, we've made it back to rugby because this is actually our second visit to this lovely little Warwickshire town. Uh, and we're going to answer the question because we came, we came sort of early doors last time. We're going to answer the question tonight. Is it possible to have a good night out in rugby? I'm thinking it is. Let's see how we get on. Me wandering around the streets of rugby, looking at these on the street, and going, why are there giant eggs everywhere? Uh, obviously they're rugby balls. I'm not very bright at times, but I do drink a lot, so you have to forgive me on this. Right, that brings us to then our first port of call for the evening, which is gonna be the Prince of Wales. I wonder if one day it'll become king. Number one is a craft union, and you know what that means in a craft union? Three to six pounds. So I know I'm not starting with a beer, that'd be horrible, but you know. I'm sure I'll have plenty of beers as we go on. Good little pub, loads of screens around, pool table. What is it? No. I tried. There seems to be plenty of pubs around here. Uh, there's bar 29 behind us. They're open until 3 a.m. according to the bar. So uh, the board outside. So we'll do that on the way back past. Next one's going to be the Bull, which is another craft union. So you know what that means? Another three WKDs. I did warn you that this is what would happen in here. All craft union, right? It's just silly not to do three for six quid, isn't it? So uh, this is really cool. You can literally see screens no matter where you are in the pub. There, uh, you can see the, the football from absolutely anywhere, so I am loving it. Uh, decent booster again. Uh, just down the road from the ball, cut the clothes down. Once the rugby hotel uh, doesn't open at all anymore, the horse shoots apparently. Uh, uh, so, the next one is a cocktail bar, works of things. I think it's called the 22, but I can't work out what it's called from that logo, so I'm gonna have to ask someone. Well, uh, this is actually pub number 1900 so far. Holly's got a four star martini. Not that she's ever looking when I bother to do a video, she's always occupied with that. That's what I part with all the time. But in here, I have found my first pina colada of the night. So in celebration of pub number 1900, let's have a cocktail. Oh, pina colada. Also worth saying that, let's have a look around lava. A bit of a pan around this. They, they seem to have a lot going on, like live music, cocktails, drinks and stuff like that. It's got a really nice little, uh, little micro puppy type cocktail bar. It's got an upstairs, there's another cocktail bar called The Plunge, apparently part of the same business. Good little place. So I know you're all itching to know the answer. Where does this rank alongside the, uh, the best pina coladas I've had on the crawl so far? It, it doesn't rank highly, I'll be honest. Um, for me, it's not really creamy enough. It's all right. It's not bad, but it's not gonna. Uh, it's not gonna be in that in that conversation about the best pina colada of the crawl. Sorry, guys. A bit disappointed with the cocktails in there. To me, honest. Holly didn't even finish her uh, porn star martini, which is unusual for her. What, what did you like about it? The passion fruit was more of a, like a syrup on top than an actual piece of passion fruit. And it just all bitty and not very nice. Really. And it just wasn't your cup of tea. No. Unusual. I've never seen her leave any kind of uh, porn star martini uh, thing before. Uh, we've stumbled across this, we still on the list. Uh, it's called the Lawrence Sheriff. It looks like one of the Weatherspoons casualties. Obviously one they've sold off and done. So that one's closed up. So we're, we're currently on a bit of a wonder. Uh, after a little wandering round and down a very questionable alley, we have found the Merchant's Inn. Now this one looks absolutely beautiful. So I'm hoping it lives up to its reputation because we've been told it's good. Okay, this one is absolutely wicked. Let's just have a look around. This absolutely phenomenal. It goes on and on and on round. It's such a, it's just a this, this is one of my favourite pubs that we've been in, I think. It's absolutely brilliant. And I've got Murphy's on tap still. I haven't heard Murphy's in years because everywhere has Guinness or uh, hopefully soon Brennan's Irish Stout. If you haven't checked it out, check that out. But I decided I would go for uh, half a Murphy's because I haven't had one for so long. Who remembers the advert? I'd like the Murphy's. Hi, not better. People, I, any Irish followers we've got, please don't hate me for the accent or for the, the impression. But I'll, you know. It's the Murphys. Mm. I hate to always be that guy on these videos when we're supposed to be doing pubs. But seriously, some of the architecture and some of these buildings in rugby are just absolutely stunning. This little this little town is just it's wicked. It's a really, really nice little town. Uh, short walk along. So I'm still absolutely stunned by some of the architecture and the buildings around here. Including this behind me again. Uh, we've come across the Rugby Tap. 
Real ale and craft beer. Let's see if I can find a nice sour. Didn't have any sours, but they do have lilies and stuff like that. You know what? I love a lilies. This is a wonderful place, this. Great little micro pub, great selection. Loads of ales on, loads of ciders, things like that. Really, really, really great. Well worth, yeah. Uh, yeah, well worth sort of walking around the corner for. Uh, and find it definitely phenomenal little place that is genuinely the last two pubs have been well spoiled that merchant scene and the rugby tap are both absolutely fantastic places um just that little sour in there uh, he did find one came and matt the owner came and found me uh, and produced out of his fridge an oslo sour and it was phenomenal uh, and just up the road now then to the next port of call the raglan arms in the this is a really sweet little pub. It's, it's got like country pub, like village pub vibes up in the up in the outskirts of the town. It's a little bit of live music going. Guy's really good. Simon Buckingham, I think his name is. He goes to the bus there, but he's really good. Really good little pub. This. Shame it's not busier. Saturday night. It's a little bit out of the town, but it's well worth the walk up. This one's about. I think we've walked for about three or four minutes. It's a little bit again. It's a little bit outside the main town drag. But, you know us, it's a pub, and we don't like to leave any stone unturned or any beer undrunk. So we have come to the half moon. Holly's still here. Holly, want to talk? No. Nope. Holly needs a wee. Holly needs a wee. In the pub or in the road? In the pub. In the pub. Let's go in the pub, I suppose. This is a proper, like, spit and sawdust, like, locals pub. Um, it's really cool, really friendly, like, really fun uh, motto. Uh, all over there, all over the place. Holly's still here. Drinking her smell of ice. She's hungry. She's been winged. She's hungry for ages. So I don't know what we're going to do about that, but... I offered her a cocktail sausage, but she wasn't having any of it. Who knows? Quick walk back towards town gets us the William Webb Ellis that we're hoping is still open because it looks reasonably quiet, but we're going to try anyway. This is a real weird one. This is a really big pub. Um, and it's like, it's just gone 10 o'clock on a Saturday night and it's really quiet. It gives me like, it gives me Weatherspoon size, size vibes. Yeah. Um, got like, like, rugby, rugby history and stuff like that. Oh, well, nice pub, friendly staff. It, she should be busy now. It's 10 o'clock on a Saturday night, man. Where are people? Come out and drink, people. We just met the cutest little, uh, St. Bernard, St. Bernard puppy yeah. called Basil. Uh, he was chewing my hair. I, uh, I would have got him on video, but I was too busy fussing him and getting puppy teethed, so I didn't. Um, right, I think now this is all we've got left on this part of town to do until we go a bit further down, which was that bar 29 that we came to earlier. Uh, it looks a little bit more lively earlier, so we're gonna venture in now and get this one done. I think, I think we're done with this air tent. Lo rugby's great. I guess I got a reason, but I just don't wanna know. But for 24 years I've been living next door. Quick stop for some cheesy chips to stop her from moaning about being hungry. Are you hungry now? Just tired now. Just tired now. So it hasn't stopped her moaning, it just stopped her moaning about being hungry. We decided to pop back to somewhere we did the first time. Uh, really, really great sports bar in uh, in rugby, near the bank. We decided we'd go in for a, for a cheeky one before we head down to the courthouse, which we've not done. Sports bar, this uh, great turn up in a boxing as well. Oh, it's gonna be final stop tonight. I think we've pretty much done all of rugby, uh, following this. So, the final stop is the courthouse, and it's a bit light to see, right opposite, conveniently, conveniently placed opposite of McDonald's, even though she's already eaten. But you know, so final stop tonight, the courthouse. Yeah, it's a pretty good place for us to finish off. To be fair, it's a, it's a really good, like, late night rock bar. It's open, it's open, it's open well late. Um, Bit of a day to remember playing decent, decent tunes. Decent, the, the bar staff are really fun. Decent service. Yeah, good place for us to finish off. Uh, finish off the night. Depends what you want in rugby, but yeah, I'd say rugby is. Uh, you can have a great night in rugby depending on what you want. Um, and obviously, we've only done half of what we did the rest of the last time we were here. So yeah, well done, rugby. Good night again.